We continue our team coverage of the West Fire, though, with 10 News reporter Rena Nakano. She's live in Alpine. A very emotional day, Rena. Yeah, very emotional. Cal Fire saying there are 34 residential homes that were destroyed by this West Fire. One of them is the home right behind me. We were able to go inside and around the property with the homeowner for the first time since Friday. Welcome to 1540 Suncrest Vista Lane. It was like our dream. The pride and joy of Lauren King and her husband Ed is now reduced to rubble. Their house, the only home on their entire street, destroyed by the West Fire. I don't know where we can go. We survey the property for the first time since Friday. Emotions overcome her. This is going to make me cry. Every step she takes is another moment of disbelief. Oh my gosh. Oh man, this is crazy. Oh. Wow. Then reality hits. Everything they own, cars, valuables, their life is gone. Oh my goodness. Well, we lost all of our pictures. My mom and dad, when they passed away, I took all their old pictures. I've got none of those now. Friday, King was at the dentist when the fire broke out. Her husband rushed from work only to save Freddie, their 10-year-old rescue. They didn't have time to get anything else. We knew the house was going to catch fire, but we just didn't think it would be the whole thing. In the midst of the destruction, a small sign of hope. Oh, somebody brought it out. Look at This was in the bedroom. Fire crews must have brought it out onto the patio. Oh my God, my jewelry's still in here. And she was able to find one very important photo, one of her son. <gasps> There's a picture of my little boy when he was a baby. This is good. So happy. The Kings say they have a long road to recovery, but they hope to come back to what was once their dream home. We'll probably rebuild. Maybe rebuild the same house, just a little better. <laughs> That's all we can hope for. Now, the Kings were able to salvage a lot of the most important things to them. They say they don't have family in this area, so they've been spending time at the Valley View Casino Hotel. They say they're just going to have to take it one step at a time. Reporting in Alpine, I'm Rena Nakano, 10 News. I'm so grateful for those treasures and those silver linings. Rena, thank you. We wanted to